Hi traders, welcome back to another trade recap. So yesterday I took a short position on pound gain, was able to scale into the position and closed out for a total of 12.2R, including the scale in. So this is the PL here, um, total about $36,700. So without further ado, let's move to the chart. So why did I take um, long on this specific trade was mainly because if you look at the daily, price has been in an extremely, extremely overstretched condition. This is what I call a pro trend as well. When price is just constantly moving higher and higher, you know that the pullback is not going to be very deep. And if you, if you look at the way it's being so overstretched here, I believe it's just a matter of time maybe not tomorrow, maybe not next week, but it will snap back extremely, extremely strong because this kind of trend is not healthy, is biased, is irrational. So drop down to the one hour. Why did I specifically look for setups here was mainly because if you put on the replay mode, because first thing, price was extremely overstretched from the 20 EMA on the one hour. If you look at the price here, no matter how strong the price is, it will tap the 20 EMA, which is the red line. But if you look at yesterday price, when before I took the trade, price was extremely far away from the 20 EMA. It was about 50, 60 pips away. And if you measure from the price to the 50 EMA, it was about 100 pips away. So after seeing that price was being extremely overstretched, I know the market was going to create some sort of fake continuation pattern attracting buys onto the market before the next wave sell. It means before the next pullback. If you drop down to the five minute, you can actually see here we have a solid bull flag. So for some of you who don't know, bull flag is a typical bullish continuation pattern. So when price form a bull flag, it has tendency to continue moving higher. And that that is exactly what the retail are expecting as well. When they see a bull flag, they expect the bull flag to be a successful one. So guess what? It really did. Broke through the bull flag. Lots of people actually just chased the buy. And guess what? Disappointment. This is what I refer to a busted bull flag. So busted bull flag. All right, busted technically means we have a break through the high, through the pattern beautiful but all of a sudden we face immediate opposition pushing price come all the way back so when i saw that price actually came all the way back i knew that hey something's wrong here buyers are not able to sustain the bull flag which means sellers are going to temporarily step in so that is a simple concept of supply and demand if one side cannot sustain their strength or weakness the other opposition will take over so when I saw that happen, I was looking for potential entry to actually go short. So there goes the pattern. After seeing price go all the way up again, because up until this point, remember, price was still testing the structure, which means it has potential to continue. But after seeing that this bullish pin bar get consumed, see that bullish pin bar? And look at how price technically just consumed the entire candle. That's exactly when I jump onto the setup with a fairly tight stop because I know if the market is still valid, if the pattern is valid, it wouldn't create new high, All right, which means we will stay under high like this and in fact create lower highs. So beautiful pattern and guess what? Price immediately just smashed into profit. But one thing that was slightly worrying here was that price actually pulled all the way back to my to my entry. So for some of you who not know, every time when I take a position, um, especially in my community, my, my members, if you don't know, I actually do run a private community, please check the link in the description below. Uh, it's called the one percenters. If you're interested to join a serious community, please join us. Always welcome new members. So if you look at Pound Yen back at the chart, I don't like to break even a position if I feel like I'm taking at the extreme. So yesterday, one of the member also asked the same thing. He said, hey, Neil, why when price run for four, I did you not secure anything? It's because I'm at a stage where I'm not really focusing on the piano. I'm focusing on the setup itself. If I were to break even this position 
and guess what it turns out to be a 12.2 r i was technically ruining or damaging my expectancy my profitability so i don't like to break even a position unless unless price has run extremely significantly into profit for example seven eight nine r that's when i'll start scaling out i'll start exiting the position but on this one i'm fine well, so after price come back to my initial entry form that beautiful rejection after seeing that two minutes candle absolutely again rejected my entry with such a massive sell-off i added size onto this one so go back to the panel again if you all can see the first size was 35.46 second size was 17. so i actually added 17 lots right here added 17 lots right here then the initial size was actually about 35.46 lots so it's about 50 percent size if we divide half and guess what uh, if we look at the two minute price absolutely just melted so that was something unpredictable and the main reason why i have my tp over there was because again i was concerned about a lot of factors first thing first Palian has been in an, a pro trend, which means it has potential to just pull back a little bit, then jump all the way back up. So that's the last thing I actually wanted to see. And fortunately, I was I actually closed my position at the bottom. <laughs> Can you see that? Um, absolutely at the bottom, because I was concerned about price respecting minor structure like this. That's why I was happy closing the full position. And yeah. It was a beautiful trade and I hope all of you learned something new. If you like the video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And again, if you're looking for a serious trading community to join, opening slots and I welcome all of you to join us. Link in the description and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.